Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, coming on just to have a bit of a chat and show you that Mr Doodle <laughs> rescued my laminator. <laughs> God, what a mess. Um, he just unscrewed the bottom, took it to pieces and got it out. But we've since realised that there's um, an actual button on the back that says ABS that I'm assuming means anti-block system or something like that. Uh, because I looked on the box and it does say something about uh, a, re a release thing or something. So I could have got it out myself probably, but... Yeah, so he's, it made a right mess look. Don't know what went wrong with that one, but that's going in the bin. I'm not even saving anything of it <laughs> or trying to. So when he'd fixed that, I went back to making some more of these out of... Just let me show you. So no, international people probably don't know what I'm talking about when I say the Beano book comic and they do comics these are the comic books That's these ones that's what I've been uh, cut the envelopes out with the envelope punch board shown you these before because I've had them cut out absolutely ages. I think I did actually did them for part of the 100 things challenge and then never did anything else with them and I think I've got a video of demonstrating the punch board for just in case anybody hasn't seen how to use it or doesn't know what I'm talking about. It's that. I think most people that now we'll know what an envelope punch board is it i think it's the one thing that i have used over and over and over again just while i think about it if anybody does laminating don't ask me how i know but don't try and laminate the uh, don't try and punch the corners when it's laminated because yes it gets stuck and i've tried that more than once and it gets stuck every time anyway so I just hand cut the corners. I'll just show you these. Just quickly, Mr Doodle was helping me put some of the snaps in. I really can't thank you enough, Trudy, for buying me those because they, they've, they're they just absolutely brilliant. I love them. Yeah. And I've, still, I've decided to laminate both sides. And then I haven't got the paper put in these yet, but I'm just going to do them like, um, you know, just little put a piece of elastic round and bits of paper in. Not going to stick anything or poke holes in or anything. Just a little notebook that people can use and refill with paper when they want it. But I love them. I absolutely love them and that little popper snap it's that one they're so funny <laughs> it's got some answers on it I don't know what the questions were but it's got answers on and Mr Doodle he was doing some of these ones I was cutting them all out and poking the holes through and then he was putting the buttons in and he got really annoyed with himself because he'd put one of them on the wrong way <laughs> so he tried to was it this one don't know he tried no it's not that one he tried to um well he, he got a stanley knife and was trying to cut in it but he said it wouldn't cut in he got it out with the pliers in the end but it has sort of mackled it up a little bit where did, where's that one come from? I don't know. I said, oh, it doesn't matter, it's only a bit of paper. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet, put it round the wrong way. I will do one day, it's bound to happen. But I think they're well cute. <laughs> like a child I am, I'm like a child. 
booklet wouldn't go in that one. Well, it will if I find the excess piece of paper that I'd cut off. Denisaur. It's a Denisaur because it's Dennis the Menace and he's a Denisaur. don't know why I'm saying it in that stupid voice. <laughs> This is what Mr. Doodle did. He said, can I do different coloured buttons? You can, I said, you can do anything you like, just don't put white ones on. <laughs> oh dear. And he wanted to, I don't know which one he wanted to put a white one. I said, nah, not white. Maybe if I do something black and white, white would be all right. I think I'm getting worse with not liking white. And I always say I like all colours. <laughs> uh, white is my least favourite. White is a colour I don't use a lot. As those of you who watch me regularly will already know. It's just... no. It's just wrong. It's seriously wrong. <laughs> and there'll be people that absolutely love white. It's a good job we're all different, isn't it? And there will be people that don't like lots of colour. That would be saying, no, that's just wrong. Oh, that one's... Oh, this is probably it, actually. I, th hmm, I think that one's it. Can you see how it's just... Yeah, I think this one's probably it. It wasn't a booklet then. It was... Oh, I don't know. I thought it was a booklet, but... But that one's gone a little bit. But it's all right. I don't know. It could have been that one, then. So there are the little bits I'm having a bit of weekend crafting. I know it's only Sunday today, but our weekends at the moment, which I've mentioned before, are Friday and Saturday because Mr Doodles, they're doing sugar beet at the moment. We've been being a truck driver, they're doing sugar beet and he work, has a Friday off and works on Sunday. So, um, right, next thing, I then went on to, I don't know why I did this, but I did. I've got some smaller laminate pockets, pouches, some smaller ones. What can I do with those? What can I do? So I, I thought, oh, I'll make some bookmarks. Now, some of you will have seen this that I did I don't know, two or three years ago, probably longer than that. And I don't know who I was inspired by originally, but it's the sort of thing that you see sort of a lot on YouTube and Pinterest and that. It's a knock-on effect, isn't it? You see somebody and they do it and then somebody else sees that and they do it. And anyway, I had to go and it, I wasn't very pleased with it at the time because I just used like... I don't know what make it was, but oh, a hobby craft, I think. Hobby craft cheapo watercolours, and it went a bit flaky, but the flaky bits have fallen off now, and it's actually not too bad, and I, I do like it. Uh, so I focused, fo rewind, photocopied it. Well, is, I'm going to try and do a journal with that one at some point. I'll obviously paint the back. And that's one I've done on gloss card, so you can see the difference. Whoops. Difference in colours, look. But that doesn't matter. Oh, and there's one that I started a long time ago and never finished that. Story of my life. Anyway, there was a smaller piece left because I'd done an ATC at some point. So there was a smaller piece left, so I thought, oh, I'll do some bookmarks. 
so I just made a few bookmarks and that was an event in itself <laughs> with the laminator I thought oh god no not again please this was late last night I thought, oh can I do it? I know I'll get one of those small pouches and this was this size so I just cut it up into the pieces before I laminated it so they got five pieces like that in put it in the laminator and it didn't want to grab I'm like oh no please anyway it grabbed but when it came out the other side one of them had slid over the other one and it was a right mess but I, I got three out of it three out of the five um, and then these two I've just done this morning because one of those little books that I've just shown you one of those fitted on one of the small laminate sheets and one of these at the side so <sighs> and then I decided to put eyelets in that didn't work out very well <laughs> so I'll be keeping that one because it's a bit rough I think because they're like cheap uh, well I don't know I don't know what I was going to say builders but not builders but cheap um, I don't know there was like from from a hardware shop tools and all that sort of thing and not specifically for crafting I don't know I don't know whether they're meant for a thicker material but they don't didn't work it's all <clears throat> or it could be just be user error it probably is user error anyway so <laughs> these are them and I painted the backs just with some pretty coloured paints and then put some of the my fluffy trims in yeah so I've been having a bit of a, a crafty weekend it's been nice actually I was going to say that fits on there but it doesn't that one does that one does um, so yeah if you've got this far and you're interested in having one and probably a, a, um, a booklet as well oh, I've just had a another payment from YouTube my previous payments I've bought myself things this time I want I want to send out some happy mails um, you know use the money to send out some happy mails to people that's continually supports my channel not just to anybody that happens to be stopping by <laughs> Um, so please don't mention in the comments don't mention giveaway or all oh, that's nice of you to do or don't mention anything like that please don't please don't do that I don't want you know but if you would like your name put in on my list <laughs> I, it won't be I won't do a draw I, what I would like you to do anybody that's interested is email me don't put anything in the comments email me at betsy doodle that's two t's betsy doodle at gmail.com and i've got a little list down here email me with your address just just say yes you know yes please and and your address um and what i'd like you to do is tell me if there's anything in particular that you like that you've seen on my videos um you know i know lots of you say oh i really like that and i should write everybody's things down but i don't but so if there is anything that you particularly i mean you might not want one of these you might think they're flipping hideous or whatever but if there's anything you like particularly like tell me you know please don't be shy that's why i want you to do it in an email because people don't always like you know letting everybody else see what they write do they um so send me an email tell me what what you like what you would like to win <coughs> international's quite welcome as well but you you do have to be a subscriber and be a regular watcher and and commenter and i, I will check i mean i pretty much know everybody's names that you know 
write to me and comment on my videos anyway but you know it's it's easy enough to check on my laptop whether you've commented before or not uh, yeah, so tell me what you like and also not just m my crafting stuff But is there any supplies that you are short of? I I'd like to know that I mean, you know, I've been crafting for a lot of years and because I do I like to do all sorts of crafts I've got all sorts of supplies <laughs> and <laughs> You know, I would just like to, sh I would like to share some stuff. So if there's anything, you know, I mean, uh, well, you know, if you don't know whether I've got it, but you are short of something, just put it down. And if I've got it and I pick your name out, I will, you know, happily share some things, um, you know, because as crafters that I've been doing it for a long time and especially when you do like to try lots of different stuff I mean if you're just say a card maker you just tend to have card making supplies but uh, you know a, a, a multi crafter you have you've got like oh yes I need to try oh yes I need to try that oh yes I need to try that so you have like everything <laughs> and it's just mental <laughs> so you know especially people if there's anybody out there that you're new to crafting or you just don't have a lot but you think oh well I'd like that but I haven't got any like you know trims and that for instance if you don't have a lot of that or um feathers I've got feathers I've got blooming <laughs> Oh, I can't think of anything that I've not got. <laughs> um, I mean, no, joking aside, there's going to be something I haven't got. Um, but, you know, I've got chipboard pieces, little frames and beads and, <laughs> oh, all sorts of things. Paper clips. I think everybody's got paper clips, but I'm just looking around the craft room. <laughs> yeah, so please, you know... Don't say, don't be shy, email me, uh, what else? Oh, and the other thing is, it's not going to be yet. Uh, I'd like to gather some names up and it will be probably in the new year, the first week in the new year. So it'll give me time to get some little packages. Don't know how many packages I'm going to do. I say it's not going to be a draw. I'll just have a look at the emails and... Uh, um, you know, I, I would especially like to send, not just, but especially like to send something to, you know, uh, um, a subby that's been a subby for a, a while and commented that I haven't sent to before because, you know, as crafters, we, we, we have our favourite crafters, don't we? And we think, oh, I'd really love some of their work and, uh, um, you know, or whatever. So, and the other thing when you send the email i've said please send your address as well uh, i will just reply thank you i'm not i shan't be you know sending a long email back i'll just say send you a thank you to let you know that i've seen your email and it hasn't gone to the spam box god i'm going on aren't i talk about twaddle my god Right, so address, yeah, said that I grabbed pe YouTube payment, happy mails, don't know how many I will give out, but whatever. Anyway, I'm going, because <laughs> I'm sure you've got earache now, and I'm about to have forgotten something, but yeah. So please don't be shy, just let me know what you like, or if there's anything that you particularly don't like. Um... You know, if there's any, well, I suppose you watch my videos because you like the majority of what you see. But there's bound to be things that you know, and and I won't, I won't be at all offended. We can't all like everything, can we? Um, but you know, say for instance, oh no, I don't like that green. Don't like that green or something, but you know. To my mind, you could still have that and use that on somebody to send to somebody else. <laughs> but it's just we all think differently, don't we? But anyway, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry I'm going on. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to talk a load of twaddle. 
so yeah that's the that's the address um and i'll speak to you soon take care bye